Hey everybody, Asher here today with even more FTL Captain's Edition. Where last time we crashed and burned and failed, and to be honest, that's kind of been the experience with Captain's Edition for me, so we're going to be kind of jumping ship a little bit here, and we're going to name this the Takeover. That's right, we are playing the Basilisk today, and this is a ship that's interesting to me in a few ways. Part of it is that, well, it's a boarding ship, so you want to get a boarding crew on there and smack things around. You don't have any weapons, and I'm, like I said, I'm just curious how this plays on Captain's Edition. This is m one of my favorite ships, one of the most powerful ships in the game, if you get a good start. But the key, of course, is getting a good start. But let's see if we can go ahead and dive in. Otherwise, it's pretty similar to its uh, counterpart uh, in regular or advanced edition. A four-person transporter is key. It does come with level two shields, which is better than you might realize. Uh, light defense drone boarding it does only have one energy for weapons which means i do need to spend extra scrap to get weapon systems online but we'll see how we do like i said the goal is to board 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 and last more than one episode or one clip let's do it so we have this we can socialize and the mantis crew says he's coughing up some acid as you approach it better stand back captain caught a mantis cold he <laughs> he you're not sure if the creature is indeed sick or just wants to scare you. Well, that's that's great. So, like I said, we have all this here. And we do have a boarding drone potentially available. I like that it starts at 15. But we do need to get a really good start here. So, what do we got? Source of Driscoll, a small research station, appears a laboratory fire gun out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. And let's... Uh, Jock can try and rescue survivors, and we got Mr. Jones! And we successfully rescue everybody, which means right away we can go ahead and put our people right here. We already have. That's about as good of a start as you can get from there. Because if I. Sometimes you can damage your hull and not get anybody, but now I have a non mantis gun. We're at an ion pulsar right away. No med bay. And frequently use beacon close to a pulsar. That means we are definitely going to be transporting into this room. So hopefully we can kill whatever that is right away. Who are uh, the, uh, can't even tell what species he is, but hopefully we'll be able to get out in time. Oh boy. Always the oxygen, like without fail. Okay, so one dead, two dead. That's not the crew yet. So he's got one more in there. We gotta, I don't have a clone bay, so I gotta be very mindful of Terrace's health here. All right, so pop here. It'll be better once you get more experience. There we go, no more life signs. Lots of scrap right away, only ion damage. So that's a plus. Go ahead and repair and buy the numbers. I approve. As long as we don't run out of life support here in just a second. But fortunately, the ion pulse is not gonna damage. Well, the oxygen just came back online. At least I was about to say, it's not gonna damage it as long as he's like still present or does that make sense i don't know if that makes sense what i was trying to say was as long as we uh as long as it's not repaired the ion is not going to do anything to it but now we just have to sit here and wait for our engine to charge because it is still level one engines that's a little bit of a tough point and i could have sent a boarding drone in there and probably help expedite that fight a little bit in fact i may since i have so many drones we want to do that so early. I could have put, also put up a defense drone against that missile launcher. So they're closing in fast. And strong radiation beams at your ship. Your opponent is using dirty weapons. And we could have offered surrender right away, but we chose not to. Oh, great. Okay, so we're back to having no oxygen. That definitely means we're going to be uh, trying to end this fight in a hurry. So we'll see. Maybe we can get... A boarding drone online. My life sports is surprisingly low. Alright. So I am knocking these guys out early, so that's good. Hopefully there's no crew stuck in these places. So the the B boarding drone takes the time to get to the enemy ships, then starts a massacre. It's chilled. So one and hopefully oh he's going for the kill. Mantis pheromones, fortunately, very fast, so no more life signs. So we have oxygen back on online in time. So you're gonna see this is gonna be happening a lot early on. Boarding drone, did, you gotta you gotta throw it very fast, I guess. 
cost one drone when first powered, so... They said the big thing is that it's going to be there, I guess, more for the long fight. So if I can get a third crew to start making this happen, it's going to be really good. We are going to go ahead and get... Well, you know what? We're going to get the... We don't need the other bar right now, but we do want to save some scrap in case a good weapon comes along. And we don't want one of our boarding crew to get killed, so we're going to try and avoid that as much as possible. They have cloaking, which can be dangerous. Still no... Uh, Nothing to speak of, just in terms of... Well, let's see what we get with this super slow boarding drone. There he goes. Transport to the cockpit. And see if we can commence the massacre before the cloaking dies. Because right now it seems like I may have to run my group around here. That is a, That is an interesting balance change, so right in the weapons. So he's dead, and no more life signs. Get you all out in just a moment. Once again, the, the thing that I've been running into most with Captain's Edition is just having RNG events completely obliterate my crew. So we will wait to jump until you guys are fully healed. I know I should be using my hotkeys more to make this happen. Let's double check and make sure, because we, we got ourselves killed the last time by not checking to see if there's a clear path to the exit. All right, so Rebel Sensors MK Storage Vessel for military goods. It has no air, so I'm just going to avoid it. We want to avoid drones at all costs. I don't have a clone base. Let's get the civilian ship. Oh, boy. Here's good news, guys. We don't have weapons that can penetrate this ship. Let's see if this works. That'd be hilarious if it does. Or if it just bounces off. But we'll probably just try and avoid it. It's really unfortunate because I don't have weapons that like Zoltan shields. Just don't do anything. Nope. So we are just waiting. Let's see. I'm not even sure what kind of weapon that is or if my defense drone will do anything about it. So this is too bad. I want to kill you, but I still need something to poke at you with. Okay, so that's just an ion shot. Actually looked like a scatter ion shot, which is a little, little irritating. Because I definitely could have taken on the ship, but instead we just get to sit and wait. I guess I could be leveling up my crew, but all I really want to do is level them up for slaughter. Which is where, once again, a a good start in Sector 1 is so important, and we're not getting that right now. Alright, so, we could offer surrender any time, I guess. Okay. You look a little scary. There's one NG and one Zoltan, so I'm going to be very careful about killing Zoltan because he's going to explode, but I may just do it anyway. There we go. Kaboom. And they're dead. No more life signs. Three fuel. Big thing is just make sure you manage your health. Do we have a store nearby? No. Oh, that's scary. Well, I can probably go one, two, three. Well, there's no risk. Yeah. I can play in the nebula first. Always want to wait until these guys heal up, though. But I guess the track is going to be to go into the nebula and then see what we can do before we hit the exit. So we got enough fuel. So far, a good start. Don't like having empty beacons early, so let's see. A black market trader uh, spins a tale of dangers of the nebula before pushing its wares. Purchase the unknown weapon for 45 scrap. Or buy some missiles. We don't need missiles. It's a little risky to pay 45 scrap, but you know what? Let's do it. Ogre missile battery. Terrible. But I can use it. So that's, I guess, not super terrible. Requires one power, 10 seconds. Basic battery that fires a small swarm of missiles deals two damage to a hull, but only half damage to systems and crew. So I got something to punch shields if need be for now. So I guess for 45 scrap we could have done better. All right, let's socialize with crew. 
NG crew. Wow, really? Uh, surprisingly, the NG actually have hobbies. It's constructed a perfectly usable drone template. And it's free time to ask you to try it out. Well, thank you. That was very nice of you to make a drone for me. Alright, looks like we have a fight here, and... It's an auto drone. And it's hacking our sensors, so we're just gonna have to unfortunately sit this one out. Not because the teleporter's anything really scary, but because... I guess we can go ahead and just put you on the edge. It's just to give us that slight additional chance to dodge. Not much to it, though. But that 5% does add up over time. So that's two automated drone or two automated places that uh, are just not making me very happy today. Because I want to be able to kill things. I could potentially send the NGN as boarding crew as well, but well, like I said, it's a little bit risky to do the ogre missile. But I only have three. There's no point in firing it here. Ooh, I think I can make it to the store. All right, store. What do you got for me? Let me take a quick pause. All right, sorry about that, but we do have 49 scrap to play with. Could get an anti-drone drone. Could get a light anti-crew missile drone, which is interesting. Cluster bomb, mysterio missile, or bio beam. None of these are particularly good. I'm just, I guess I'm stuck with what I got. I do have some fuel. I buy two. So that's a waste of a store, but we get to the exit in time, barely. So having to three, leave three ships on the floor really stinks. That outdoes, or that by far outpaces our uh, advantage we get from boarding. So we're at a net minus for this first sector. So let's hail them and two drones for nine fuel. Yes always take the fuel so the holy moons or closed borders of the lycus i imagine the zoltan so we're gonna go for the holy moons and hope for the best if it's rock people i guess that's okay we have 20 fuel so we're gonna do this socialize and then we can get the ng crew uh, if you require anything specific and no so distress beacon here we go See if we can make Sector 2 a little better than Sector 1 right away. So search the ship. And what? You find the decaying remains of some kind of ship coated with ice and crystal. Since some crew aboard, nearly everything is either destroyed or under file, but one of the weapons appears salvageable, and there's a strange stasis pod, which catches your eye. Well, I think we know what we're taking here. We can get the stasis chamber, and your crew drags the pod back to your ship before the asteroid smashes up, shattering it through the crystal coating and destroying ships. So we're there just in time. Nice that you get to see the crystal assault vehicle right there. So now we do have the augment damage stasis pod. So we need to find a way to crack it open. There's another store and the store's a dead end. I think I'm gonna skip it. Cause if we're in a rock sector, which is one of the places where the damage stasis pod you can get. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and they have a clone bay. So we are going to need to start sending our boarding drone over there to whack, whack, whack it. And let's not send one, one dude at a time. All right. Unfortunately, rock people are very slow. Fortunately for me, I should probably upgrade my... Okay, well. That sucks. Distraction is good. Okay, so what else has been hit? I gotta start paying attention to this because my crew is getting low on health. Actually, if I'm gonna put out the fire that way, I'm not gonna be able to uh, do what I need to do here. So let's see if we can get this in here in just a moment. So take the clone bay offline ASAP. This is goal number one, two, and three. Okay, weapons offline, which is probably okay. Uh-oh, that's a two health clone bay. There we go. No more life signs. All right. Barely got it. 
took more damage than I would have liked. We're gonna keep, I guess, no, we should probably, probably repair the weapons. I do feel like, I do feel like I should upgrade my uh, transporter. So we'll do that. So, nice thing about rock people is that you do get a lot of experience in Hugh out pacing Terrace right now. I'll know what that's about. Fortunately, able to get that clone by end. So, you encounter small craft and minimal propulsion, as Rock crew member explains. Rock home world is run on lies and propaganda keep its populace in check, and they want no part of it. And tell them their God sent them here to join your crew, or promise to share with them the truth they've been denied. Let's try number two. They seem tempted by our decline. They can't risk being lied to again. It's too bad. I could have told you all about the wonders of uh, boarding people and smashing their faces. Not like this, though. So, you interrupt our transcendence. We will fire upon you until you leave so that you can melt with their mother in peace. They charge the weapons. Oh, that's a lot of weapons. All right. Oh, they do not actually have... Uh, So how scorched earth do I want to go here? Probably like this. So they don't have any piloting. So chances are I'm going to need to port out of here in just a little bit. But we can boarding drone. Should have done that the first time. A little scared of their poke laser. Alright. So one down. Okay, they have no med bag. Alright, two down. So we got one level up here. Gotta heal up ASAP guy. Oh shit. The one thing I didn't want to have happen is exactly what happened. Okay. Well, the fortunate thing is that they're on fire, too, so... We get all of our mantis faces in together to help repair. We're gonna take a little bit of damage. Okay. Surely you two mantids can put out one fire if it spreads. Once again, not really using my missiles very hard, but... Okay, my thing is that I don't just want to jump back on there if I'm going to die. You know? So we have... Oh, our air's still offline. That's fun. So we need to uh, extinguish the fire in the doors. It looks like we need to fight pretty much right here. It's like there's still some rock people in town, though. Okay, getting some good old fashion hull damage in there. I think that's going to be it for the rock crew, though. No, we got one more. Thank you. Come again. Okay, this the station goes dark and sure the crew's dead. Their equipment is yours for the taking. Not as much as I would have liked, but... We gotta wait for the air to come back in and then we're gonna have to jump before I'd like to. Alright, so solar flare. We'll get the rest of the heal while we jump. This is not nebula, it's just pretty background. Right, so, what do we got? Oh, usually good things happen here. Barren planet seems to house a medium-sized rock colony. Shut down weapons and try to appear non-threatening as possible. The intercepted comm chatter reveals that their defense system is already in high alert because of you. Soon a garrison ship races towards you. The rock will likely target your ship with their long-range planetary artillery if you don't get away in time. Well, they're screwed with the wrong people. Unfortunately, because it is a planetary defense system, getting my thing on there would have been much higher priority. So this could end up really bad really quickly. And a lot of, look at all my systems that are being targeted here. All right. 
I guess we'll start by targeting the oxygen. All right, so planetary system ready to annihilate. So I don't know if I can get out in time. It's a little annoying. All 50%. Once again, they do not have the means to heal. But I've got a. All right, it's prop. That's oh, actually the. Mighty rock defenders have been slain and their ship drifts in dead space. You quickly approach and salvage some equipment and you hasten to jump away. Alright, so. Jump like crazy. I really want to heal up here, but I don't want to get hit by an ABS. Planetary defense system, excuse me. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Heavy anti ship missile drone. Well, we can take this opportunity to heal up and repair. So that's good. While well, we figure out what exactly this missile drone is. X enemy ship drone repeatedly attacks enemy ship with heavy missile strikes. Alright. Haven't used the defense drone yet. I probably could have for some of these things, which is unfortunate for me. Haven't even used the ogre missile yet, so that's typical. Eh. Guys need to finish your repairs. We'll send everybody over to repair. So we do have one. We I think they're both leveled up now, so that's good. The reason I'm not repairing the weapons is because I don't want to take the extra hull damage before it's necessary. So I guess I'm just floating the ogre missile without much use right now. Maybe I should go ahead and repair. But we are ready for the next threat. And... Dr. Jones getting lots of repair time in. Doesn't add up to a whole awful lot yet, but we got 100 scrap. I probably need to upgrade my doors and my sensors. And I really need to I really need to float some scrap because I really need to find a good store. Let's jump here. All right, you recognize this is a laborer ship. We can buy a slave, we can attack it, we can use teleport or board ship and release some of the slaves. And however, your estimation of location of the prisoners is off by the time to get there, bearing slave or spot. Beam back to the ship and prepare for a fight. Well, you know, we're just gonna beam on again and I guess, let's see here, they do not have a lot going on. Now it's going to be manted on manted action here, so I'm going to have to really watch my health. But I should be able to kite them away. Are you really going into that room right now? Alright. Thank you for going ahead and punching a hole in the one room where I was trying to get my combat on, alright? Why are you not running? Why are you not running? Shit. Alright. We gotta pull them out now. Because unfortunately there is a hole puncture in the damn floor. It's like, okay, they actually upgraded their doors. Once again, good that they don't have a med bay here, so I can possibly take them out in just a minute. Don't need the air right now. I really don't want to get ioned right now. So good, boarding drone. Which technically I think it's supposed to have levels. Like the one room, you had one room you weren't supposed to go into. That was the room. All right, let's see here. Let the mantis join your crew and get the rest. Well, what do they say? They look at you questioningly and want to ask if they're to be released. You could use more crew, but don't really want to force them to work for you. Fortunately, some of them offered to join your crews. Thanks for the rescue. Yeah, we're going to take the uh, mantis. And it's important to read this text in uh, Captain's Edition because you don't want to get screwed over later with like crew mutinies and stuff. So let the mantis join your crew. Yay, the mantis seems fine with the order saying, I'm on board if it means we get to kill some rebels, you drop off the rest of the station. So, three mantids. That's better than a weapon. It really, really is. 
Can some good come of this run? Well, if we find a store, that will indeed be the case. Because I'm starting to need some hull repair here. All right. That's a big-ass missile launcher, so we are probably going to be using the defense drone instead. And there we go. They do have a med bay. Unfortunately, also the only large room on the ship. But once again, we do need the miss missile defenses. So it looks like they don't have door power. Okay, where's my third one? Okay, he's fighting me. Mano a mano. So you're running. Oh, that's right. I have this thing. I'm dumb. Oh, wrong way. That's pretty terrible. Alright, who's dying? He's dying. So we're going to have to kind of hard reset here in a second. Because I cannot burst these guys down through that. Alright. Could be microing some of my stuff a little bit better here. Just try like this. Because I'm actually going to need the air. Please tell me that I actually did system damage. Not enough to take it out, unfortunately. So if it's a level 2, I can't really out-heal it. Okay, we don't have a lot of missiles here. Just did the wrong thing. Is also not the right move because I'm currently not out damaging him there. Great. All right. Okay, so this is where you start to need a weapon to try and take things on. I feel like I can't beat this ship though. Let's go and put you all back in here. Three missiles remain. Okay, FTL's delayed now, that's good news. And Ogre Missile again. Please hit. There we go! Leave with your lives. Six fuel, 14 scrap, that's okay, but I have the upper hand finally. No, I don't. Oh, I should have taken surrender. I guess what's more important right now. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get another missile in just a second. Let's get you out. Oh no! Holy cow! Oh. Oh. No way. I can't not put that video up. I can't not put that video up, but oh my god, that is... That is absolutely the worst thing I could have possibly done. Ogre missiles do... Lots of damage. Oh boy. I'm gonna enjoy looking at that one again and being responsible for that for a while, but... There's absolutely no way I win this one. So, we are just going to, uh... I don't know. Is there a way to just off my crew here other than just suiciding? That's just so bad. I had a good start. I had three mantis. I found a way to screw it up. That is so terrible. Maybe I should just go back to regular edition until I get better at the game and come back to this because that's just really stupid. Just, just so dumb. Just so dumb.
I think I think I had the with three mantis there. I definitely had the beginnings of a good run, but nope, blew him up with missiles. So that's it for now. This is Asher. Thanks for watching. Definitely on the fail boat here. The takeover it, it took over all right. Ugh. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time where maybe I don't completely obliterate my own crew. Take care.